What is going on guys and girls, it's Ghost Robo. Today I have a very exciting unboxing for you, the largest unboxing I've ever done. It's freaking epic. This is the Titanfall Collector's Edition. You are not prepared for how big this is. Let me just show you. The Dark Souls 2 box I thought was pretty large. This is the Dark Souls 2 Collector's Edition. I thought it was pretty sizable. You can see it's a, it's a good size box. Let's take a look at the Titanfall uh, Collector's Edition. You ready for this? <laughs> not even joking, here's the box. It is massive. It barely fit in the door of my apartment. I. This is the biggest collector's edition I think I've ever, ever seen. The biggest game box I've ever seen. I don't know how they're even going to sell this in stores. It's so massive. Where is the shelf space? Um, but this bad boy has this bad boy in it. So let's open it up and see what it looks like. I'm going to try to give you guys the best look I can. I'm seriously blown away. The Borderlands 2 collector's edition I thought was gigantic. Bioshock Infinite had a pretty big collector's edition. Batman Arkham City, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic... None of them compared to this. This is a daunting box. This is a massive box. This is a humongous box. And I, I'm i shocked that they made it this big. I really am. Because, again, as someone who's worked in retail before, I know that shelf space is critical. And they always talk about shelf space being critical. Um, and this thing is just like literally the behemoth of all behemoths, the big boy of all big boys, the gigantic space age daddy of all collector's editions. So we're gonna take off its uh, casing here. If I can get the tape to slap. Come on! This is so massive. Where do I even pull? Come on, slide off. I'm tempted to rip it, but it's such a cool box. I kinda wanna preserve it. So let's see what we can do here. It's like, okay, there we go. It's starting to open up. Oh, Titanfall, okay. Whoa! This is like opening up a freaking Christmas set. Okay, so I'm going to try to scooch in now that you've seen the massiveness of the box. Here are the figures. Um, they're very highly detailed. There's one of the pilots. Here is one of the pilots. This thing is absolutely massive. Two pilots. Um, these would be normal size figures for a collector's edition. A little small, but they would be okay. Um, but man, here comes the big boy. We're going to pull him out. He is so big. I literally don't know what I'm going to do with this. I thought the Dark Souls 2 statue was huge. Check this out. The Dark Souls 2 Collector's Edition has this guy, who I thought was really massive. You know, compared to, like, normal figures, he's really big. This guy here, this is insane. So I'm going to take off. He's very well protected in here. It's... <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I just got to show it to you. I just got to show it to you. You know what? Let's get this other stuff out of the way first so I don't rip it. Um, it comes with a gigantic poster that's pretty cool. Um, this is a Titan schematics poster for the Atlas, um, which is sort of the, the average standard Titan class in between the Ogre and the Strider. Um, and it's like a big schematic from Hammond Robotics. I'm trying to open it without ripping it. That's actually pretty cool. I wish it wasn't folded because I don't know how you're ever going to make that look good. Um, but it's got the big Atlas. It's a big old poster, as you can see. I don't know, probably a good four, three and a half, four feet. So that's pretty cool. Um, then the next big attraction in here that I have to pull out before I can remove all this crazy styrofoam action is the Titanfall Collector's Edition art book. And this thing is massive. Now, most art books you know lately in Collector's Edition are coming in like a, almost like a picture form, like a, a photo, printed photo form. They're about this big and they have, you know, 50, 70 pages. This is like the real deal. So we're going to open this up um, and look through it. I... This thing is one of the most expensive plug editions I've ever seen. I want to say it was $230. Um, but I was so impressed by the the size of this sculpture. One of my friends told me you have to check it out, that I had to check it out. And I love Titanfall so far. It's, it's like the second coming of multiplayer games for me personally. Um, so this book looks really cool. And I'm really into like art and stuff as well, um, even though I don't do much myself. And I thought this would be a really cool coffee table size book to have. So you've got Art of the Titans. Um, looks like a mix of sort of models. And then I'm guessing there's concept art as well because there always is. Um, you've got, yeah, and then there's information in here, which I love. I love when they include actual written details um, about the Titans. And it looks like it's quotes from the, the staff as well as just like sort of, you know, the made up details about these different weapons. Um, yeah, you've got locations, so we'll I'll find a cool one training grounds, um, but yeah, there's definitely like sweet concept art and stuff in there as well. This is a really nice book, one of the nicest art books I've ever seen included with a game. Really pretty stuff going on. If you're uh, an art fan, um, this is going to make you way happier. Whoa, 
than most game art books do because most, like I said, are pretty rudimentary um, and just show like character sketches. But this thing is definitely, definitely fully featured and has a lot of cool, um, looks like info as well along the way. Even stuff is like in-game graphics and stuff, like the different shops in the areas. Like that's really cool to me. I really, really like that. Interesting. It also shows them like building the models. Let me get to that page. You can see them like uh, they built this full-size Titan for E3. They took it around to some other conventions. Um, I had the privilege of seeing it in person. It was really cool. Um, so that's nifty. Now, the game is also in here somewhere. Not that it really matters so much. Um, but let's, uh, let's get this guy out. I don't know the best way to do it. All right, here we go. I'm going to take the side remote and hope that he doesn't break. Don't break on me. Uh, okay, good. Oh my gosh. All right. As you can see, this thing is absolutely gigantic. Look at that Titan. It's so cool. He's so massive. He's got one pilot on top of him already, and then the other two um, go down here for the diorama. I believe this guy's here. And then there's got to be a spot... For this guy back here, aiming up at the Titan, maybe, no, right here? Yeah, get in there. I don't know where this guy goes. That's totally not correct, but he, he looks like a crazy person shooting up. Um, I'm guessing we put, let's switch him real fast. You guys can just keep looking at this Titan, he's huge. Um, yeah, this guy probably goes here, no, yes. Let's see, is this guy go more here? I don't know, maybe you can anchor him in however you want. Different spots, but the big Titan up top, and his gun is massive, and then there is a pilot up here that you can see while well, you kind of... Check this out. Here's the size of this Titan in relation to the Dark Souls figure. The Dark Souls figure is very large. Um, I'm going to try to hold these up without it tipping. Okay, Dark Souls figure, I think, is a pretty big collector's edition figure. Their bases are equal right now, and the Titan dwarfs him. This is one of the coolest, like, collector's edition piece. Typically, sometimes, I should say, collector's editions include, like, not what I would call high-grade figures. Like, they're, they're cool and all, but they don't, like, necessarily feel like something epic. This feels like something epic. There's plenty of detail. There's battle damage. There's dirt. There's scuffs. There's scrapes um, all over this guy. If we get him up close, you can see um, his legs. We'll do, like, a side view here. His legs are like dirt and battle damage and, and dust all over. Um, he's very intricate all the way around. He, he almost looks like a very, whoa, finely crafted model. <gasps> I turned him on. Oh my God, the tight, whoa, okay. So he can be in red mode with the pilot in blue. Can you guys see that? His, um, his gun is like really blocking. And if you were, you can see it there, there. Blue, red, depending on what like faction, I guess, this, you press a rock in the back. Um, a lot of stuff is lighting up, so the pilot is all lit up because it's like a rodeoing pilot. So the pilot is the different colors. So the Titan's red. The pilot has blue LEDs, um, and then there's a ship. Gosh, this is hard. You can see it lighting up. You can see it flashing. The ship right here, like the energy can or whatever that is, um, doing its thing. This is really cool. So it comes with batteries all in it. You can change it. A great piece for like to have on your your. I would say shelf, but I don't think a shelf is gonna fit this. You need like a dedicated gaming cove or something. Um, but once you pull off all the bands that are kind of holding them in place, man, this is pretty cool. I'm trying to see where do they have the different guys going. Um, there's a certificate of authenticity in here. And uh, two grunt soldiers have been packed spe separately for damage protection. Each one has a specific slot in the environment. Okay, so it looks like the guy who's firing up... Yeah, the guy that's firing up, this guy down here is actually supposed to go in the back somewhere, somehow. I don't know. There's got to be a way to balance him better, though. Right? Maybe? I don't know. I'll figure that out, uh, I guess, in a little bit. What are they? Do they have a picture of it anywhere? There's, like, a, an info packet in here. There. Okay. Tells you how to remove it. Tells you where to put the guys. It's a little bit unclear, though. Place... Background soldier into the post hole as shown on the base. Hmm. So I'll have to look at that and get them exactly in the right slots, but this is so freaking epic. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. 
The Titan is ready for battle. We've got a poster of him, a sweet art book that's really massive. These figures that them they themselves are like really detailed and really cool. Um, two of them, and then there's obviously the third pilot up top, who's the sweetest pilot of all. Um, and then the light up Titan and all that is pretty, pretty cool. So if you guys enjoyed this video, hit the like button. Let me know what you think of the Titanfall Collector's Edition. It's still too overpriced, totally. Like when everything's said and done, this is a plastic robot toy, but. Man, is it a cool one. One of the more smile-inducing collector editions I've ever gotten, and I am going to love putting this guy on my shelf and having him have a permanent spot of just menacing might and awesomeness. So thanks for watching, guys. Girls, have a fantastic day. Drink some hot chocolate. Until next time, we'll see you all later.